Wondering what to do with your mountains of printed sci-fi memes from loot? Play some RPGs using them, dummies. Hey there, Luca here, and today I'm going to talk about a topic dear to my heart, sci-fi, and why you should play some sci-fi themed RPGs if you haven't already. Science fiction, of course, is an expensive genre with a million subgenres to boot. You have your space explorations, your alien invasions, time traveling, and more punts than you know what to do with. Basically, sci-fi is fiction that deals with the advancements of technology and our discovery of the universe. So you'll see an absolute menagerie of subjects in sci-fi. However, first things first, let's deal with the elephant in the room. Because Dorothy, we aren't in fantasy land anymore. Yeah, seeing that D&D is the most play role-playing game in the world, it's only natural that tabletop RPG is connected to medieval fantasy. So it can be a bit daunting to step into the realms of sci-fi. But this is exactly what we're trying to encourage this time around with the time portal. DMing sci-fi isn't all that different to DMing conventional D&D, especially if you're already playing with dimensional travel or a setting like Spelljammer, where you travel to the expenses of the Astro Sea. Besides, it can be truly freeing to explore technology, weird weapons, and spaceships without having to pull off a high magic card all the time. And it gives us a way to explore technology, environments, and a diversity really different to what most of us are accustomed to seeing in RPGs. In the same campaign, you can just as easily be scoundering to the galaxy, shooting down an evil empire while complaining to people not to tell you the odds, as you can be skulking around a vessel, adrift in outer space, trying to avoid the certain fate that comes with parasitic aliens. See what I did there? I bet there's a ton of sci-fi references you have laying around your brain that can be explored in the sci-fi campaign. Be it a Star Wars inspired Western space opera or an alien inspired suspenseful body horror space tragedy or a ludicrous bullshit English humor adventure based on the whimsical worlds of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Wanna play a rough and tumble detective with a heart of gold? Bam, cyberpunk. Wanna DM an exploration mission to the edges of the galaxy to boldly go where no man has gone before? Star Trek. We know that the main obstacle for playing sci-fi RPGs is an inspiration, because there's plenty out there. It's finding a good system we can use to play. D&D is the biggest RPG out there. Odds are, it's the only one you know. And although there are a few lightning boats in sci-fi, a sword and magic system without any changes isn't exactly conductive for a sci-fi adventure. So, here are a few solutions to this problem. One way to do this is just being creative with 5th edition. Change some ability names around, make your wizard a technomancer, and explain their spells as nanobots, or just have your club bouncer be a raging barbarian with an energy field powered by his constitution. Change weapon damage types and add laser guns from the DMG, a couple of new skills like hacking and gambling, and praise the power of the artificer. Just use common ship rules for your spacecrafts and call it a day. I have done this before, and me and my players just had a blast trying to explain what any given spell was in the realm of sci-fi. However, this can be frustrating, and it calls for a lot of tweaking that can break immersion and take time. But if this doesn't bother you, have at it. A simpler way to achieving the same result is looking for homebrews that seek to do just that, adapting your good old 5D system to sci-fi. A couple of recommendations are Carbon 2185. It has pretty much everything you need to run a cyberpunk adventure, and it's completely based on the 5th edition rule set. I also like Star Wars 5e, which is a free resource being developed right now on their own website, and it's doing a great job to immerse D&D in the Star Wars universe. The alternative to that, though, is committing to the sci-fi overlords and making a complete phase shift to a different system. Game system, not star system. Anyways, this makes sure that you're playing something that was developed to be sci-fi, so no wonky rules adapting are necessary. An easier bridge to D&D players would be trying out Starfinder, a sci-fi RPG based on Pathfinder, made to have adventures set in deep space, traveling amongst the stars, and all kinds of different planets. Unlike the next system we'll talk about, Starfinder is set in the distant future of a medieval fantasy world, so bet your ass there will be space dwarves. Likewise, Shadowrun is a futuristic world of medieval fantasy, so you have all your well-known races and also magic. This is a classic sci-fi RPG that was developed in the distant past of 1989. It's mostly cyberpunk, but it has mixed in a heavy dose of urban fantasy. Its 6th edition has just been released in 2019, and its rule set isn't too far from 5th edition, so it should be pretty easy to jump right to it. Finally, the Expense RPG. It's a great system to try out, especially for the fans of the book series and the TV show. It already has an incredible fleshed out setting ready to be played on. This is the biggest leap rule-wise from 5th edition, but it's absolutely worth the trouble. Beyond that, we at Loot are also developing material to accompany the minis made for 5th edition D&D, 
Every mini is accompanied by a creature stat block so you can easily play with them. Also, if you'd like to play with the races from our Rooster of Minis in the 5th edition rules, we've also made stats for just about every single one of them. Check out the PDF down below. If you feel like we left out your favorite space invading Star Trek in RPG, leave your recommendations down below. And considering liking and subscribing. Bye bye!